Benji. I can't give up on you yet. I know I said I was done, but my heart won't let me rest. Talking to you has been like therapy for me. You provide a listening ear and let me get things off my chest. And boy, is there a lot to talk about this week. First off, things are changing at the park. Mordecai is quitting. He's going back to art school. I'm happy for him. But it's really putting a lot of strain on fives. It wasn't a smooth transition for him to go from groundskeeper to manager. And I just worry the pressure is too much for the poor guy. I tried to talk Mordecai in the stand just a bit longer. But he told me, Skips. There's nothing left for me here anymore. It's time for me to spread my wings and fly. And you know what, Benson? I agreed with him. As much as I didn't want to admit it, I agreed. Ever since you left, things have been horrible at the park. There's not much left there for anyone anymore. So I wished him good luck and gave him my blessing. Like I said, I'm happy for him. However, I'm also a bit worried. There are a lot of weird guys over at art schools like that. And I'm afraid he might get mixed in with the wrong crowd. Anyway... Fives is so desperate for new staff that he's hiring two new guys right off the spot. Some guys named Chad and Jeremy. They seem like nice guys. Hopefully they can help us out during these hard times. The park's in real bad shape right now. We could use your help. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? Goodbye, Benson. I suppose I'll be back here next week.